Hi, I'm Ashley Weston. I'm a men's... I was like, what am I? Hi, I'm Ashley Weston. I'm a celebrity menswear stylist. This video is part of my men's essential accessory series. To see the other articles and videos in this series, check out this link below. All right, so today I wanna to go over ties. Like the other essential accessories that you own, you want your ties to go with the rest of your essential wardrobe. I see a lot of mistakes that men are making with their ties. They are wearing ties that are the wrong material or the fabric weight doesn't even complement the rest of their outfit, or it doesn't even go with their outfits to begin with. They either are wearing some like bold, crazy color or pattern, or the width of their tie is too wide or too skinny, which really throws off the proportions of your body. So it's a big deal. And lastly, I see a lot of men tying the wrong knot. I don't know why, it just, it's a thing that irks me because it really separates a well-dressed gentleman from an average guy. So let me show you what to look for in a tie so that it works in every situation, regardless of what you're wearing. First up, I wanna go over how to match your tie to your outfit. So it's actually really simple and this works 100% of the time. So you want to have the color of your tie be similar in terms of color to any other color in your outfit. So for example, what I mean by that, if you are wearing a charcoal suit with a white dress shirt and black dress shoes, you can go with a gray tie, a charcoal tie like this because it complements the gray suit you're wearing or you can even go with a black tie because that complements your black dress shoes. Now, if you are wearing a navy suit with a white dress shirt and brown dress shoes, then you can go with a blue tie because again, it complements the blue suit that you're wearing. Or you can even go with a brown tie which complements your brown dress shoes. A third example that's more casual in case you're not wearing a suit is if you're wearing a gray sport coat with say a white dress shirt, dark wash jeans and brown dress shoes, then you can go with a, again, gray tie because complements your gray sport coat. Or you can go with a navy tie because it complements your jeans. And guess what? You can also go with brown, a brown tie because it complements your brown dress shoes. So it's just a really simple rule that works in 100% of situations. Anything outside of that, if you wanna experiment with other colors and patterns, you can, but it just is outside the scope of this series because you can go wrong with that very quickly. If you're unsure or if you just want to look great 100% of the time, then stick with this rule. So let's get into what your tie should be made out of. So there's only really one material you need to look for in a tie, and that's going with a silk textured tie like I have here. This will work year round with every outfit that you could possibly wear. I love a nice textured silk tie. Now you do want to avoid a silk tie that is just satiny smooth with no texture. This type of tie is used for like a black tie outfit, but even then a textured silk tie would work just as well. So instead stick with a textured silk tie. You can also go with a silk knit tie like I have here. This is great for spring and summertime, but it's a seasonal item, so you don't want to wear it outside of that. For specific product recommendations, I cover that in my Summer Essentials ebook. I'm not gonna cover it in this video because again, it's a seasonal item. In terms of what colors you should own, you wanna stick with black, charcoal, navy, and then you can also throw in a silver or a light gray, but these colors will work with 100% of the outfits you'll be wearing. Outside of this, I would say, once you've gotten these basic colors down, then you can start going with lighter shades or with jewel tone or pastel tones like burgundies, uh, browns, greens, all of those colors, but only do that once you feel very comfortable about matching your ties to your outfit. So once you've got those solid color ties in black, charcoal, and navy, then it's time to add some patterns. So I really recommend going with some striped ties, but make sure there's no more than three colors to them, and the major color should be either black, charcoal, or navy still. You can also add some polka dot ties like I have here, but again, in the recommended colors, and you just wanna make sure that you just don't have the polka dots be too large or too like 
like heavy, like concentrated where there's a ton of dots everywhere. It's very distracting and it doesn't look good. So something similar to these are great. So this next point is super important and it has to deal with making sure you wear the proper tie width. The proper tie width is basically dependent on two things, your height and your body type. And the reason why it's important is because it's going to keep your body proportions nice and balanced. So what I mean by that is if you are a broad guy and you're wearing a skinny tie, that tie is going to make you look even wider than you are. And then the same goes for if you are a skinny guy and you wear a wide tie, the wide tie is now making you look even thinner than you are. This is why you really want to pay attention to to selecting ties that are the proper tie width for your body type and your height. If you're under five feet, eight inches, and you're very thin, then you wanna go with a tie that's two inches wide. If you're unsure if you're skinny enough to wear this type of tie or this width of tie, then go with a two and a half inch wide tie like I have here. If you're five feet, eight inches to six feet, three inches tall, and you have a slim or average build, then you wanna stick with a two and a half inch wide tie. If you have a large or broad build, regardless of what your height is, you wanna stick with a three inch wide tie. And then also, if you are taller than six feet three inches, doesn't matter what your body type is, you wanna also stick with a three inch wide tie. An important note about silk knit ties is that they generally only come in two different size widths. So you've got a two inch wide or a 2.75 inch wide. If you are under five foot eight inches and you are an average to slim build, then go with a two inch wide silk knit tie. If you are taller than five foot eight or you have a wide build, no matter what your body or no matter what your height is, then go with the 2.75 inch wide silk knit tie. So moving on to tie lengths, this is not something that you have to really worry about. It's pretty standardized across all brands. I mean, it's gonna, you're gonna be pretty hard pressed to find a brand that offers a short and a long version. And honestly, that doesn't even come into play unless you're under like five feet, four inches, or if you're like six, five and taller, that's when you'll really need either a shortened tie length, which a tailor can easily shorten, or a longer tie length. So the tie bar does offer actually a longer length in case you are six foot five and over, but really it's not something you have to worry about. And lastly, in terms of what knot you should use, go with the half Windsor knot. This is my absolute favorite. I love the dimple that it creates and it's a nice triangular shape to the knot. It just looks so much better than a simple four in hand knot, which is what most men use. That's just way too casual and sloppy. And I don't prefer the full Windsor knot unless you're six five and super broad because it just creates way too bulky of a knot it really looks dated and terrible and not proportional to the rest of their outfit so make sure stick with the half windsor knot it's the only knot you need to know so i am a huge fan of country music and i have family from texas so i'm gonna actually try to do this outro in a southern accent it's probably gonna be just as bad as when I did my British accent, but let's see how close I get to a true Southern accent. All right. Y'all remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and y'all come back now, you hear?